Hey guys, it's Silent Kink here, and uh, here's another Capture the Flag match uh, on Scrapyard this time. Uh, I recorded this game today along with three other games, so don't worry, uh, there's definitely going to be gameplays every day uh, for a while to come now. Just because uh, it was a lot of fun playing tonight with a whole entire party of people. Uh, so before I start this video, I'm going to give a shout out to all those people I played with tonight. We're going to start off with probably the best player I've played with, uh, period. Um, not to be like, oh, he's so amazing, but out of the people that I've played with, um, I definitely think this guy is the, <laughs> the best I've played with. Uh, his name is Locomotion EX. Uh, he's a great, great Call of Duty player. Um, not just a Capture the Flag player, just a great Call of Duty player in general. Um, he gets great scores, like, every match. Um, he's great for helping attacking in CTF. He definitely can clear out a room by himself, which gives me the chance to cap the flag. And just an awesome, awesome guy. Uh, next we have, um, we have Jamon, who is another very fun guy to play with. He's a good player also, and... You know, I do really enjoy playing with him. He definitely goes for the objectives when he can, and if we need him to sit back and defend, uh, he'll sit back and defend with, uh, with uh, some people. So he's just a great person. He plays the objective like you should. Next we have uh, Fighter505, who is Pat, who I usually do play with every night, uh, just because we've been good friends for a while, and I'm just going to continue to play. Call of Duty with him. Uh, he's a he never attacks. Um, he's a great defender, and for that reason, we usually don't lose. I mean, me, me and Locomotion, we don't lose because we attack. But uh, he's a great defender. He never really allows the other team to get a flag cap, which is great. I love that. <laughs> uh, I think the most the team has ever got against us was two, maybe three. Just a very very good player. Uh, next we have Cole Austin, uh, another good player. Um, he does what we need him to do. He'll attack when we need him to attack. He will sit back when we need him to sit back. I do wish he would sit back more. He tends to attack too much, and it can just get in my way, and kick, and it can get in locomotion's way, especially when we're at, uh, on a high kill streak. But you know he's fun to play with. And I played one match with some other person who wanted to play, and I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Whoever I was playing with, I know you weren't in this match, so I would see you if you were in this match. And I'm sorry that I forgot your name. But, um, yeah, he was also a good player. He played with us on High Rise. If you know who you are, and uh, just leave a comment saying, this was me, This I was in the video. I was in the High Rise game. And so, there you go, guys. Uh, there's a big thanks to all you. Um, I hope we can all play again tomorrow, uh, like usual. I have a ton of fun playing with you guys, and I hope you guys have a ton of fun playing with me. And uh, CTF is a great game mode for groups of people to play. If you're going to CTF by yourself, I'm not saying you're going to lose, but it's going to be much tougher to win like we did in this match. I think we won 13 to nothing. So if you want to dominate people like you, like my team usually does, try and get a whole team together because you can totally just set up how you want to play like we do. And I know it could be hard to get a full team of six together, especially if they live in different parts of the country, like uh, the people I play with do. We got three people who live on the East Coast, we got a pers two people who live in the Midwest, and it's just hard to coordinate times especially with schools starting up again I don't know what time their school ends uh, I know what time my school ends but it's kind of hard to get this all together because we, got, we have to know what time we get out of school we have to know if we need to do our homework before we play it's just a lot of work and that's why I want to get a lot of games in before school starts for me which starts in four days now I think yeah it starts on Monday which I'm not mad about, and I'm not s sad about either. It's just something that has to happen every year. High school is not bad by any means, but it does get boring, and 
I'll say this much, it was harder for me to adjust to high school last year because brand new to the area, brand new to school, really didn't know anybody at all. Luckily, there was another new kid in my Spanish class who we became friends, and thankfully, you know, we just talked, and it was just some good to have somebody right away. But this year, I should be doing fine in high school. Uh, I did really well at last high school. Uh, the only class I struggled in a little bit was um, Spanish. But thankfully, I'm done with Spanish now, and that's going to be great that I no longer have to take Spanish. So, I don't like Spanish. Uh, it, uh, I'm just not very good at Spanish. I don't know why. Um, I do great in regular English, but I just can never do, never really did well in Spanish. And not that that bothers, <laughs> bothers me or anything like that. But this is going nowhere, this topic. So we're going to move on to the topic I talked about yesterday, which was growing up and all the struggles you have growing up and how you have to mature and stuff like that. Well, today uh, I kind of do want to talk about that some more. And basically, when you're growing up, um, you have to get out of that joke stage. You have to get out of making those really silly, stupid remarks and just start realizing you're not a kid anymore you can't be making those jokes especially if you want to do something with your life uh, you can't be doing this stuff uh, sorry if I'm like ooh you can't be doing this uh, you have to listen to me you can't be doing that don't take it that way guys uh, I'm just telling you what I think uh, I think once you reach, reach the age of 14 or once you reach high school you really have to get past these jokes like, that's what she said jokes. I mean, I was using them today, and so was, uh, what's his face? Locomotion. But, um, it's fine in moderation, these jokes, but when you use them constantly after every single dumb sentence, it gets old and it gets annoying. Let's put it that way. Uh, the Office uses them, uh, the TV show The Office uses them. And I'm not sure if that's where it got started, because if it did, then it's whatever. But now, any time you say something like, oh, um, that, that was really, really hard, and then somebody like, that's what she said, it gets annoying, it's pointless, and why people say it is beyond me, it's just dumb. It really is dumb. Like I said, I'll use them sometimes, but like I said, moderation is fine with this stuff. Anything is okay in moderation, I would say, but, and, you know, people think maturity is not just, is just not making these stupid jokes and stuff like that, and that's not really maturity. Maturity is accepting something, and maturity is deciding what you want to do with your life, and setting goals for yourself that you can achieve and stuff like that. That's what maturity is. And if people think they mature with one day in 8th grade and fully decide what they want to be in their life, it doesn't happen that quick. And yes, I'm talking about one person in general. This goes out to Austin, pretty much. Uh, I know you've had one day of 8th grade so far, and you say you really want to be a web designer and stuff like that. That's cool for you, but think about it before you ever do anything like that. You don't know if that's really what you want to do. You have to think about something for a long time. See, I was going to say long, hard, and then somebody would make a joke about it. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about it if I said it. Honestly, I'm immature like that sometimes. But you don't know what you want to do with your life until you've taken courses that involve that. You've volunteered. I can't really volunteer to be a web designer. But in my case, with wanting to work, be a, become a doctor, I've worked in the hospitals. I've taken a ton of science courses already. It's just something I definitely really want to do in my life, and I've wanted to be a doctor ever since I was a little kid. But, like I said, just act mature, try to act mature, and if if you ever run into a kid on Xbox who's making dumb jokes like that, and just, just call him out, honestly, you can call him out for me, I don't care. Uh, just, you know, keep it at a decent rate, don't start spewing curses and stuff like that it's just not my style and honestly that's what ruins xbox a lot for me but thanks guys like always uh this is silent kink signing out peace